so this is part three, I believe, to what if Deku uh, was a Saiyan. And All Might, All Might says, then who will I give my core to? Deku says he doesn't know. It's up to All Might because it's his quirk and he can give it to whoever he wants. Deku needs to get home so he can change and train. Because he has 10 months before the UA entrance exam. And All Might was really hoping that Deku would have taken his quirk because Deku seems like the best candidate. And unlike any, I believe, of my other what ifs, I'm gonna do the unspeakable. I'm gonna do the most sinful thing you can do to any of anything in my hero. And no, it's not liking Mineta as a character, and I don't like Mineta as a character. It is giving Bakugo one for all. Just to reinforce Bakugo's uh just to reinforce Bakugo because he believes he can beat Deku. And he saw Deku throw that. He believes Deku's the one to through the punch. Even though he was uh, being strangled. And let's say All Might. Uh, uh, All Might asks, why did Deku save that person? Deku says that uh, him and. He says his name is Bakugo. And he, him and Bakugo were friends when they were little. But once Bakugo uh, got his quirk, Bakugo became a bully. Although he wants to become the number one hero with his quirk, he does not have the right personality or attitude. He believes he is better than everyone. And if you are quirkless or if you have a weak quirk, any quirk in general that he believes is weak, which is almost all of them, you will be treated horribly by him. So he, he asks for his full name because he wants to see if he's okay because he was just attacked and Deku says his full name is uh, Bakugo Katsuki and all my here's and he goes he says okay goodbye and he goes to the police station asks for the, his friend to look up someone named Bakugo Katsuki they find where I live where he lives he goes to Bakugo Let's say this is like the next day when he has more time. So he goes to Bakugo and, he, uh, and Bakugo's mom sees it's All Might. And he asks, what would All Might want to do here? What did Bakugo do? Uh, he says, your son didn't do anything. He's actually here to see if Bakugo, your son. He says, if young Bakugo is okay because he was attacked by a villain yesterday. And Mitsuki goes to get Bakugo. Bakugo sees it's All Might and shuts the door to ask All Might why is he here and all that. All Might explains why he's here and he says, So it wasn't that quirkless delusion who saved me, it was you. Because that wind that hit me, the wind that hit me must have came from you because you were in the crowd. And All Might says he was in the crowd watching because he was about to step in before he was saved because he had just gotten there. And. So uh, then De Bakugo says what I just said about that corkless loser. All Might says that, no, it was not him who saved him. It was that young man. Bakugo says, then, he's, then he has a quirk then. He has a quirk that, it, that must be manipulating wind then. Saying that he's been hiding his quirk from me all this time. It must have been training his body so he can get stronger, so he can be the number one hero. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill that him. I'm gonna kill that worthless uh, piece of trash, basically, is what he's saying. And All Might says, no, he did not hide his quirk from you. He is quirkless. What he did, and let's say Deku explained the move to All Might. It says, it takes years of training. And you have to do it at such the, at the right timing of a punch infused with the right movement to be able to shoot a small uh, vortex of wind, which he calls the Windy Vortex, which is a fighting technique that very few can learn. And now I'm skipping to where Deku is. Deku is contacted by Kami and asked Deku to go there. Let's say this is 
after Deku finishes his thing, so he flies all the way to the lookout. And let's say this, Kami doesn't put a time limit on the uh, time chamber, and the, yes, there are Dragon Balls that Kami keeps on the lookout. And Kami tells Deku that a force far greater than anything he's seen on this planet, that is not from this planet, is coming to Earth, and that Deku needs to train. Deku needs to train as hard as he can. He needs to train as hard as he can to reach a, 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 power, a level power that is much, much greater than what he has now. And Deku says, what do you mean? Is it aliens? Are they coming to attack? Kami says yes, that he was informed. And if you know, if you went ahead... And if you don't have such low IQ from the last part, when I told you it has something to do with aliens, aliens will be attacking, uh, will be attacking the planet, trying to take it over. And let's say this is this, uh, universe equivalent to Frieza. What would his name be? Uh, Frost. I think there's someone in the Frieza family already called Frost. I don't think they're canon though. I'm gonna call him Frost. Someone called Frost that is an alien that is far, far more stronger than you are, and that you need to train with a certain person to get stronger. Deku says who? He says with King Kai. And yes, that's what I'm gonna call him. Let's say Deku has heard of King Kai a few times, but has never actually met him or talked to him. And Deku asks, so I'm going to train with King Kai, but how do I get there? Kami says he's already, uh, let's say, this this world equivalent to King Yama. He's already talked to this world equivalent to King Yama to let you pass through to King Kai. And that you need to get there now to train. So Deku leaves, and he trains and trains and trains. I'm kidding. He runs and runs and flies, basically. He just flies. He flies all the way to King Kai's, and when he gets there, the, the grav it's not as hard for Deku to move, because I think it's only 10 times gravity there, or, I don't remember, but what is it, like 2 times? I don't remember what, how, how much it is. It's basically, it's, not, it's a bit uh, heavier than what uh, Earth's is, but it's a lot easier for Deku to move there. King Kai has been informed of what Deku's training is. Like his everyday training, and he needs for Deku to get here instantly each time he is done with school, so he, they can train. Yes, go. Uh, yes, Deku does learn the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb. I forget how long was De How long was Goku training for? I know it wasn't the full year like he was supposed to, but let's, Deku has ten years. Uh, not ten years. Uh, 10 months to train, but not as much time as Goku because he can only train for a certain amount of time a day. And uh, Deku says, how will I get here quicker then? King Kai has pulled a couple strings. Let's say the Supreme Kai owes this Kai a favor because of something King Kai did to help the Supreme Kai out. And he's pulled a couple strings for Deku to learn the instantaneous move. Sorry about that. The instantaneous movement technique, which is basically uh, the Supremes Kai's uh, version of instant transmission, but a lot more effective. Let me check something. Okay. So the Supreme Kai comes to King Kai's world and says. Will this be the young man who I will be teaching the instantaneous movement technique to? He says yes, and let's see, uh, King Kai told Deku that Supreme Kai is the the highest ranked person in the uh, in the universe at this moment, and that uh, Deku needs to train, and the only way for him to get here quickly is the instantaneous movement, which 
let's say Deku gets down pretty fast because let's say he has Goku's ability, but not as strong as Goku's ability. Goku's ability is to be able to see someone's move, I believe, and copy it. But it does take Goku, let's say, Goku was only able to copy the Kamen Kamenha that we've seen for the first time with ease, but he, apparently it took him a couple months to learn the Hanson Transmission. Let's say for the instantaneous movement, it does take Deku a couple hours, because he doesn't master it, because I'm pretty sure it took Goku a couple months to master it, just like it took Goku a while to master it, the Kamehameha, the Kamehameha, but Deku doesn't master it, he only is able to use it slightly, they say good, King Kai tells Deku to go home, so tomorrow, let's say I believe it's the weekend, so they're going to train non-stop. We, uh, we go to the time skip for Deku, and Deku at this point, I'd say stronger than Goku, because he's already stronger than Goku in the Saiyan Saga, so he's most likely going to be, I want to put him at Goku's level during the Freezer Saga, like the Nimitz Saga, so what was Goku's level again? He was like, he was Almost a hundred thousand. I'm gonna put Deku around a hundred thousand, so he's easily the most powerful character in my hero, but needs to train even more, and he trains non stop. Let's say Sensu Beans in this do uh, do exist, and they're being grown non stop, like mo they're being engineered, let's say, by Deku's dad, because let's say his dad was informed of this. Deku's dad has given up fighting, but his son is already much more powerful than him. So he says that he will help grow the Sensu Beans so that Deku can use them to train more uh, and more. Also, Deku won't need to be eating a lot. Won't need to be spending more time eating food or as much food because he will have the Sensu Beans to uh, feed him so he can eat and grow stronger and stronger. We skip to the end of the 10 months. He's, his power level is 1000. And Baku at this point can use about 10% one for all, which stands nothing to Deku at this point. So Baku goes sees Deku. He sees that Deku's even more muscular than he was. He said he must have been training. Doesn't matter. Now with my newfound power, I will be easily able to defeat that nerd. That quirkless, worthless nerd. And he says, I should kill him for even being here. And he goes up to Deku and says, I should kill you for being, even being here. Deku says that. What do you mean? He says, our fight that we had. Deku says, yes, if you won and I showed up, but I won with ease. Bakko is mad at this and is about to attack Deku. But when he throws an explosion, Deku punches Bakugo, telling him that you look weak, Bakugo. How do you expect to beat me? I trained in martial arts. I know how to fight. I've been learning. I've been uh, training since I was young to be a hero. And the only thing you've ever done was sit around and belittle people because you believe you're stronger. You're not. You're weaker, Bakugo. I'd say you're probably one of the weakest people I've ever met. As Deku just walks away, and people are and people that were were around him uh, heard this. And they're just surprised that that even happened. Baku goes even angrier. And he's about to ta uh, attack Deku again. Before when Deku's walking up, he tells Baku, go, don't even try to attack me again. Because next time, I won't hold back. Baku's angry at this and let it and lets it go because he's angry because apparently he, Deku's been holding back. He says, he's not holding back. He's just lying. And he says, I should have, I should have used it. Uh, one for all on him. That would have ended him quickly. And they go in there. Deku aces the test because he had a lot more time to study. And when it gets to the robot test, he's fast. Way faster than Nita. Faster than I can see. His power level is 1,000. I mean, 100,000. Unless they just freeze a character, his power level isn't as strong as Frieza. Let's say, I think Frieza's base power, or was it, 
like Frieza's final form is five million. I'm not sure. It's been a while. So let's say that this character's uh, uh, one hundred percent power, unlike Frieza's, is only three million. And what uh, Deku is only at one hundred thousand. Which let's say that Deku also has sensu beans just in case he gets hurt too bad. But he'll only use them after the exam so he doesn't cheat. And let's say that Deku in this, he, he runs, he attacks robots. Everyone thinks he must have a body enhancement quirk because he is so strong and muscular. The stronger his body, the stronger he is because his quirk. So he's destroying robots with ease, and he gets to the zero pointer. What Deku does, does is he starts, he gets in the, basically, what he did in the series, but he flies up, leaving a small crater because of the, he basically jumped up and then started flying instead of flying, he jumped up and started flying. And everyone sees this, because he wants to look like he jumped in the air, he didn't, doesn't want to look like he just flew. So he jumped in the air, started flying. And he, and he gets ready to throw a punch. But when he throws a punch, his hand gets stuck in the robot. Like, he's right in front of the robot and his hand gets stuck in it. And let's say that Deku, instead of trying to pull his hand out, punches his hand, other hand in there and starts ripping the robot apart and goes inside the robot. It stopped moving. And let's say this is... Let's say this is uh, when Oraka gets stuck, but let's say it's quite a bit away from Oraka. And he is just destroying the robot from the inside. And let's say it explodes. Everyone's terrified because it exploded. The kid was inside the robot. He's dead. He has to be dead. Now let's say Deku was prepared for the explosion, but didn't put up a shield in time. So he got hit by it. Let's say this explosion is about through four times stronger than Bakugo's gauntlets. That's how strong it is. Everyone sees it. Teachers are rushing out. And let's say Deku is quite hurt. He's as hurt as Goku, close to Goku, is... I think Goku is 90,000, probably. I'm not sure, uh, during the Namet Saga. Even though he had so little time to train. So, he... Uh, he's her. Not as he's about three quarters hurt as Goku, so he's not gonna get a massive power boost like Goku. But he start. Uh, but he is hurt, and nobody knows where he is. Let's say he got thrown into a building, and he is barely able to move his arm. He reaches into his into a little pouch like Goku had, and reaches in and grabs a sensu bean and eats it. He, let's say the sense of he doesn't heal him all the way because he's still in a bit of pain. So he eats another one. And he is fully healed. But he's missing the top half of his clothes. He walks out of the building and asks what is everyone looking for. And they see him. And the teacher is asking how did he get there. He said he was flung back here when the explosion happened. They asked how he's not hurt. He said he was hurt but he's fine now. They think he, ju he must just have a... Uh, what is it? They think he must just have a... Regeneration quirk, but then he, he has a strength enhancement quirk. It could just be physical strength, or he has two quirks, they're thinking. And Deku at this point is about, I think I put the villain at 3 million. Let's put Deku at 2.5. Nah, yeah, 2. 5 million, yeah, 2.5 million at this point. And Deku has this massive, massive power boost. I think it's worse for Saiyan. Like, they get even a higher uh, power boost if they uh, have to heal normally. They get a bit more power boost like that. Anyway, Deku gets first place. I'm going to end it off here and stop recording for the day. Bye.